So guys, it has happened. Uh, the Moto 360 finally officially works with iOS devices, iPhones, iPads, even the iPod Touch if you want to do it that way. Now I don't have an iPhone, so I'm using my Generation 2 iPad, which worked like a charm. All you do is just download the Android Wear device from the App Store. It's very hard not to say Play Store because I deal with the Google devices so much. It, I did figure out it's hard to find, so I will link to the App Store uh, link below to the Android Wear app. Now you're going to download this on your Apple device, of course, and then you basically just want to reset your Moto 360 or other Android Wear device to start the pairing process. You can't pair the watch unless you've reset it. That's the downfall to Android Wear, but that's a whole other video. <laughs> So basically, after you get the pairing process set up, it gives you a code, you type the code in, I don't care if you know what the code is, it's irrelevant to, until after the pairing's done, you're not going to hack into my computer with the code or anything, or at least I hope not. Okay, so that is uh, going to pair up, and... This process is just going to take a few seconds, but you can actually see it on your watch as well. And I'll speed it up for you. And that's basically it there. Now keep in mind, if you have a iOS device and an Android device, and you want to hook it up to both of them, um, you're going to have to reset your... Moto 360 all over again. And we're basically done now. There's like a few things you have to do. Like if you want a Google account, you can sign into that. I don't really want to waste your time with that. Um, obviously, you know what email and calendar information would look like. But we need to turn on notifications, and we're going to turn on a uh, location and all that good stuff. And you have to also access, give access to your calendar. Now the Android Wear app isn't going to be as advanced as the ones that you would see on Android devices. It's kind of like a slimmed down version. You know, there's not as many settings. I don't really think you can download apps for your uh, Moto 360. And the watch faces are very limited. Um, so the ones on your Moto 360 are just these. And then, um, the blah, blah, blah. once this gets in focus, I'll show you the ones on the iPad as well. But first, let's take a look at the menu. As I said, it's just very simple. What you see is what you get. And then here are the watch faces. If you click more, you can see all of them. And then you can do get more watch faces. And it's kind of like a mini app store for watch faces. I don't know where these are coming from. But when you click install, it is takes forever. Like it's a two megabyte file. And it's downloading at like kilobytes a second. This is not dial up. Anyway guys, that's it. I just am very excited these two devices finally work together and I'm sure over time compatibility will even get better. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you aren't already, please subscribe today. See you next time. Bye.